This is an upgrade procedure for a link expert, uh, either the M3 model or the TP model. First things first, um, you need to have uh, at least 25% uh, charge on the device before going through this procedure. You need to have a um, uh, you need to have power supply on hand. It will be connected during the upgrade procedure. You should also save all of your test results off of the device, right? So I have the upgrade file saved onto this USB stick. Let's just look at that procedure real quick. I'll go ahead and plug into the tester. I'm gonna go into the settings of the tester. So I'm gonna click on the uh, time option there, the clock option up at the top. I'm gonna to look for the little settings gear in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to look down the menu here and go into the option that says firmware update. I'm gonna choose that. You'll see the current version listed of the tester. Again, I have the latest version on the USB stick. I'm going to plug that into the tester. I'm going to click into this little field that says select file. That's going to give you a split screen. So on the top half of the screen, I had I have the internals uh, memory of the tester. On the bottom half of the screen, I have the um, the contents of the uh, USB stick. I'm going to select the version, the, the file, the, the actual upgrade file off the USB stick. When I select it, you'll see it populate up here in the top left corner. And I'll just click open and then simply make sure that everything is correct on the screen and choose start firmware upgrade. Select that. It's going to give you a warning that all the the test data will be deleted, and I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and proceed with the upgrade. The actual upgrade procedure here is gonna take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. You don't need to do anything to the device. Don't pull out the USB stick, leave it powered up. It'll go through the process. You'll see the, the uh, boot screen uh, appear and reappear a couple times, um, and uh, that should be it.